Welcome back everybody, Matt the Man here, and you're well. So we have a new movie out that actually came out on Christmas Day, on Monday. I finally got a chance to see it yesterday on Friday. And that is the new Michael Mann film, Ferrari. Uh, based on the life of Enzo Ferrari, the guy who created the Ferrari. There's a lot of Ferrari in one sense. Um, I like Michael Mann, I like a lot of his movies, you know, back in 1995 with Heat. Then he did The Last of the Mohicans. And then he did a little movie called Collateral with Tom Cruise and Jamie Foxx, which I think is an excellent movie, and I wish Tom Cruise played more roles like that. I think that's one of his best roles he's ever played. I'm surprised they never made a prequel. Just focusing on Tom Cruise's character, Vincent. I think that would have been cool. I mean, they still could. Um, then he did um, Miami Vice movie, based on the show, TV show, with uh, Colin Farrell and Jamie Foxx. And then he, in 2009, he did Public Enemies with Johnny Depp. I really like that film um, with Johnny Depp. Christian Mail, um, Maria Coltiard. Um, I like that film a lot. I think Johnny Depp is actually pretty excellent in that movie. I don't like the way they shot that film. They shot that on a red camera, all digital, and it looked too modern. It looked, it looked like a home video, but Hollywoodized. Rather than in the time period in the 20s and 30s that the movie actually takes place in. But still overall I thought I enjoyed that film. Uh, I like Adam Driver. I think mean, he's an actor that is really good. He sometimes just doesn't pick the right projects. Um, you got Penelope Cruz in here, Shailene Woodley, Jack O'Connell, Sarah Gannon, and Patrick Dempsey. Now let's get into it. Positives. Adam Driver. Adam Driver is becoming a very, very, I don't know if he's Italian in real life, but he's even playing the Italians from House of Gucci in 2021, and now as Enzo Ferrari. Um, he, he's an excellent Italian. Um, if they were ever to make the Godfather remake, I don't think they should, but if they ever do, you never know in Hollywood. They better call Adam Driver. He is a, he really is a great Italian. This is a very complex role um, of Enzo Ferrari. Um, it deals with a lot of past. His son who died. Um, his relationship with his wife, played by Manuel McGrews, but also his girlfriend, Shailene Woodley. And then, of course, they deal with the whole racing. Um, I think Adam Driver does an excellent job here. I mean, really embodies the character. Um, this scene with Penelope Cruz are excellent. They're back and forth. I believe their relationship. I believe their history. Penelope Cruz is the true standout of this movie. She plays Endo for Ari's wife. I mean, even just her introduction in this movie, like, Oh boy, you do not want to mess with her. Um, he really brings the more heavy hitting in this film, the impactful moments. Uh, I, w I actually wish we had more of her in the movie. Um, but man, she is a, she's a force. Uh, she, I can see her getting nominated for uh, supporting. You see, I don't know if it would be more supporting actress or actress. Um, it's hard to say how they would, you know, go about that, but she is a force to be reckoned with. It brings a lot of emotion, a lot of that anger, a lot of just complexity to the role. Um, you understand where she's coming from. She even gets some of the humor in the movie. Um, though I thought Penelope Cruz did a, a, a very good job in this film. The racing scenes. 
Uh, they were they were not fast and furious. It is very real, very impactful car themes, racing themes. I loved how they were shot. Um, I love that it shows the dangers of racing these cars back then. Um, what could happen? Uh, what could happen on the racetrack? Um, they were fun. They were intense. And like they were it's scary. To get into one of those cars, it, not, it's a, it really is a live or die. You might live, you might die. You literally have a 50-50 chance. I'm a talk me this. There's a lot of close-up shots in this film. And I think that had to do with me in this movie. It's so a lot more personal of um, Enzo Ferrari's life and his um, relationships with his wife, his miss, girlfriend, mistress, and then his the racing part of it. I also like how they really shot in Italy. There's a lot of great um, shots of Italy. And it, it really did feel like I was watching like a Godfather movie um, in some moments. Between the music and the cinematography and dealing with uh, obviously an Italian. Uh, don't mess with the Italians. They're fucking scary. Trust me. I know. Especially the women. Very scary. I like the close-up shots. There's a lot of them in this film. And I think it right there knows with what the story is a more personal film. And you're gonna want that in, in a movie like this. You wanna you wanna feel like you're right in front of you're you're standing next to the character. You're in the character's head in a way. It's been over two hours long and let me tell you people It was the fastest runtime, I think, of the year. I could not believe when this movie raced to the end that it was over like, no, there has to be like another hour. This movie's over two hours long. Did they, did, did, did they cut the last hour of the movie? Um, I feel like only an hour went by. Um, so this movie flies by. Now, I could have had another hour and made it a three hour movie. And that's where I'm getting into my negative. The story is undercooked. Um, for a movie that apparently originally they were looking at making this a limited series on Showtime, I will have to agree with that. This thing would have been better on a, a limited series. And we, there, we get into the Enzo Ferrari character, when there's a lot of characters in this movie, that we barely even scratch the surface with them. And I think a lot of that too is we're wasting a lot of talent. Like even with Penelope Cruz, she's great in the movie. But I could have used a lot more of her character. I would have loved to see more flashbacks of her and Endo's relationship from their happy marriage life to where it is where, when we're watching, where we are when we start the film. Um, also, Shanley Woodley. She barely... I heard someone say she was miscast in the role. I don't think she was miscast. I think they just didn't give her anything to do. <laughs> Shanley Woodley is a very good actress. But if you don't give her anything to do, uh, that's a problem. You look at the, the racers, the race car drivers. You have like Jack O'Connell in here. I know nothing about this character, except he races cars for Enzo Ferrari. That's all I know. Uh, Patrick Dempsey. Okay, apparently he has a wife. He's been doing this for a long time. That's all I know about him. We don't get any development. I mean, you got Patrick Dempsey, Mick Dreamy in here, and. Patrick Dempsey actually does race cars in his personal life. So when I heard he was going to be in this movie, I was like, oh wow, that's going to be really cool. Because he actually does that in real life. And I feel like we should have got, you know, like I said, this was like a Showtime miniseries. You could have devoted an entire episode on each of these racers. Um, even Sarah Gadden 
and Gabriel, Gabriel Leon and Sarah Gaddon are the only two that can really get some kind of um, character development. Sarah Gaddon and uh, Gabriel Leon are a couple. He's a photographer and his girlfriend. And, you know, and he's apparently a, a, new, a new person working for Enzo Ferrari as one of his new racers. And even that, I'm like, okay. I mean, yeah, we get a little bit of that, you know, rookie mentality that, you know, I'm a, I'm a badass, I can do, I, I'll win the race, I don't care about my other racers, you know, that pompous attitude. But once again, it's still, you know, thin, thin level, thin layer of character development. You look at a movie like The Iron Claw, that's also kind of a sports, that's a sports movie, kind of like this. And you see, it, that movie developed the family in a little over two hours. And you got each of the brothers and where they are, who they are, their development, their character moments. And then you had like Lily James in there, the father in there. The only one that didn't get that much development in that movie was the mother. But that movie got a whole lot more development with each character than this movie does. So... I would give this at least a 4.2 out of 5. I think Adam Driver and Penelope Cruz are the standouts in here. And I think the cinematography and just that Italian Italy feel works for this movie. But I think this movie should have been a lot better. And I think if it was a Showtime miniseries, we would have gotten that character development. But let me know in the comments below, Matt the Bad here, did you see Ferrari? Are you a fan of Michael Mann's films? Uh, or are you a fan of Adam Driver? Okay, I think Adam Driver did a great job. I think I just wish there was more to it. Um, even where the movie ends, I'm like, oh, that's it? Um, okay. Um, so let me know in the comments below. Matt the Bad here. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts.